what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the power, the power of, of product, the power of one of our carriers. And I'm going to do it through a, a demonstration on the board behind me. And I just want you to get an idea of what we have here at the Alliance. By the way, my name is Eric Belair. My wife, Bobby, and I come from Melbourne, Florida, where we aim high to enjoy the pie. We're direct to Andy Albright and Jane Albright, and, and, and we're part of the Alliance. And, and here at the Alliance, we have the power of the product. We have the power to help people. And I'm going to show you one of the, one of the powerful products that we have at our disposal. Whether you're, whether you're looking to help a client protect their family, or whether you're looking to recruit a person to join our organization, this presentation will give you the wow factor. This presentation will give you the ability to wow them and to win them over to your side. And let me go ahead and start out by showing you. Let's, let's do an example here. Let's assume that we have a mom and a dad, and let's assume the dad is 33, the mom is 31, and let's assume that they have three children, a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. That's an average size family in America. So we have that average size family, and that family needs life insurance. They want life insurance. They want to ensure that their family is protected when the inevitable day of death occurs. So here we go. So they have a choice. You know, a, 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 lot of the, a lot of the things that we talk about today here at the Alliance is a choice. It's a choice. Andy Albright talked about it on the TWC today. You have a choice. It's what you choose to do with your day. It's what you choose to do with your time. It's what you choose to do that others aren't doing that helps you to become the winner that you can become. So we all have a choice. Our clients have a choice. And here's the choice our clients have. They can choose either company A or they can use company B. They, there's a lot of insurance companies in America today. A lot of insurance companies in America today. So why would they choose one of my companies? Why my company? Why the company I'm going to describe up here today instead of all these other companies? And I may be wrong, so don't quote me on this, but I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, I've heard there's about 1,999 insurance companies out there and this one. So there's this one that we offer out of our 15 companies, and then there's these other 1,999 companies across America that provide life insurance to Americans. And, and they have a choice of which one to go with. So this, this family of five needs life insurance. And, and I'm going to go ahead and describe to you a product that they can get here and it doesn't matter which product they get, but um, for all intents and purposes, let's assume, let's assume that he, the, 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 only the husband can afford to get covered, and let's assume he's going to get a $50,000 accidental death. $50,000 accidental death will run him around 10 bucks a month. So that, that for, for this purpose, we're just calling it an accidental death, but it could be any type of product. It could be a, it could be a term, it could be a perm, a permanent product, it could be whole life, universal life. It, it doesn't matter, but let's just assume in this case, to make it even more powerful, he's only spending 10 bucks a month. Because the cool thing is, this company doesn't care how much you're spending a month. What I'm about to show you is all included, which is kind of cool. So let's just assume he's only spending $10 a month. And by the way, this company has a $10 a month program for people ages 60 and below to take advantage of what I'm about to show you, which I'm hoping will blow your mind. By the way, let's assume all these other companies over here for this practice have this product. Not everything I'm gonna show you out to the left, but they at least have an accidental death product for $10 a month. By the way, they all don't, but let's assume they do. So. The client signs up for the $10 a month program to make sure that when he dies of an accident, his wife and his children will have something which is better than nothing. You see, I, I love selling accidental death because not everybody can afford every type of life insurance, and at least it's something better than nothing. And I'm not going to turn this into that training, but I, this is something the client's decided to do based on his or her budget or the family budget. 
So here we go. I'm going to try to throw out to you some scenarios, and you can either say, bah humbug, it's the Christmas season. That's never going to happen. Or you can sit there and say, hmm, things that make you say, hmm, that could happen. So here's the deal. They get the policy, it's in force, and one day in the near future, the husband and the wife go on what we call in America a date night. They go on a date night to enjoy each other's company and to enjoy hypothetically their fifth anniversary. They're on this date night and they have a babysitter at home watching their kids and they get killed by a drunk driver. A question I have for you is, can that happen? I believe so. I believe you can read the news paper. I believe you can watch the news. I believe you can go online and, and look at these occurrences happening throughout America all the time. But let's say it isn't a drunk driver. Let's say we don't want to go that far-fetched. They live in, a, in, in, in an area where, where, where drinking just doesn't happen. What about a texting teenager? What about a texting teenager? What about a texting teenager running a stop sign and killing them both instantly? Can that happen? The question I have for you, can, can the children lose both parents immediately at the same time? I believe so. I've seen it happen. I've heard it happen. And I know it can happen. So if that happens, and let's say they got the policy with one of these 1,999 companies. The, the, the father, the husband got the policy over here. What do those companies now need to do? Let me tell you what they need to do. They need to cut a check. They need to cut a check for $50,000 because he died of an accident. But the question I have for you is, where do you think the money should go? Where do you think they chose for it to go? Did they choose for it to go to a, a brother or a sister, an uncle or an aunt, a godparent? Where did they choose for it to go? Did they choose for it to go to the children, which means they have to wait till they turn 18 to touch it? Where did they choose for it to go? Let me tell you something. When I'm in a home, I'll put my pen down and I'll stop being an insurance agent when a client has children and I'll look at them and say, listen, you need to do me a favor. You need to do me a big favor. Once I leave here tonight, you need to get a will done. Promise me you'll get a will done. And your will will have in it who you want your children to go to. Because I understand where you're thinking about putting the money, but the bigger question is, who are your children going to go to? You see, the two biggest things people fight over in life after somebody dies is money and children. Money and children. So I would ask you, as clients of mine, to think about this nice and hard and ask yourselves, have you got a plan in place? If you both died, who would take your children? If you haven't decided upon that, please get that in writing. Please get it legalized. Please put it in a will because that will be important. Once you get that done, then you can make a better decision of who will get the money. Because if you want to leave your children to your brother and your sister-in-law, or if you want to leave the money to your sister-in-law and your brother, well then you can leave them as the beneficiaries knowing they're gonna need the money to raise the children. If you leave the money to the children in this situation, a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old, and you still leave the children to your sister and your brother-in-law or your brother and your sister-in-law, vice versa, where are they going to get the money to, to, to raise the children? Where are they going to get the money to bury you? Where are they going to get the money to take care of things that need to be done? Because you've tied it up for the children until they're 18. Hmm, something to think about. I just wanted to point that out. So let's hypothetically say that they want to leave the money to their brother who's married and happens to have a child of his own and that that's where the check goes. So the check goes to the brother. And the brother is happily married to his wife and they have one child of their own and they just got the $50,000 and now they've got these three children coming into their life to help raise them because that was the plan for this family. But now think about it for a second. We're in the United States of America. And the last time I checked, our country was the number one country in the world when it comes to divorce. 
We have the highest divorce rate in the world out of all countries. So, could these people get divorced? Could your brother already have been planning to divorce his wife? Could his wife, your sister-in-law, already have been planning to divorce him prior to your death? Could this be happening or happen? If it does happen, if it does happen, which is a very high chance in America, unfortunately, what happens to the money? What happens to the money that gets given to him or given to her? The last time I checked, it gets cut in half. The money gets cut in half. So money that you planned on for your children, half of it is now disappearing because they went through a divorce, which could happen. I don't want you to regret leaving the money to your brother or your sister or whatever, you know, who, and they're, who they're married to because somebody's going to need to get the money. I just want you to think about some things, things that make you say, hmm. So check this out. Check this out. What if, what if they are in love, they're happily in love, and, 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 and they're not, they're not going to ever get divorced. But you know we're also in the, highest, we're in the highest litigious rate country in the world, which means we have the most lawsuits. We have more lawsuits than any other country. Um, I, I, I just want you to make sure you understand this. Let's say they, they, have, they get into a new car they had to buy to fit a family of now six, and they're backing out of a mall parking lot after watching a movie, and he's not paying attention because the children are fighting, and he accidentally hits a 74-year-old and cripples them for life. He doesn't mean to do it, but it happens. A nice, loving man who never plans on getting divorced, who loves the three children he just took into his life, and he's, lo and he's lost his loved ones, accidentally hits somebody because of the chaos in his life. Do you think that family's just going to sit back and take all the insurance company's going to give him? No, they're not. They're going to look at his finances and they're going to do a financial inventory and then they're going to try to sue him for anything else they can get because he just crippled somebody in their life. Which means that money will be dwindled down to zero. So really, by giving the money to him or her, it's not safe. You should leave it to the children. But then they're in the poorhouse trying to raise them. Ugh. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know what to do. Now, I, I, hope you're, I hope you're on the edge of your seats here and, 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 and you haven't lost focus because I got another good 15 minutes of stuff to talk to you about. So I just want to give you that little hint. You got another 15 minutes of stuff to hear from me right now. So what I want you to understand is this. Check this out. Let's say, let's say that the accident happens and the man is covered and the wife is not and the wife dies instantly in the auto crash, but the man don't. Does the insurance companies over here pay anything? He's the one who's covered. He's the one who's covered. She's not. She dies. He don't. He ends up being paralyzed for the rest of his life, confined to a wheelchair because of how bad the accident was. But he doesn't die. Do the insurance companies over here do anything? No, they don't. They don't do nada. There's nothing to do because the man who had the policy on him didn't die. The wife died. But did or did not the children still lose both parents that night? Yeah. The husband, the father, is now paralyzed from the neck down. He can never touch them or hold them again. And that's sad. But there's no money to be paid out because he didn't die and he's the one with the policy. So this is what you're facing on this side. Now I want to show you the other side. Let me show you the other side. So they get the policy with this company over here. They get the policy with company A. And, they, and, and the same situation, they go on a date night, and they're on this date night, and they get killed by a drunk driver, and, he, and, 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 and they both die, and, and, and they have a choice again. They have a choice of where this $50,000 check is going to go. They have a choice where to put that check. And you know where I'm going to recommend they put that check? You know what company A is saying? Company A says this, leave it to the children. Let no adult touch it. Leave it to the children until they turn 18. Your money will be safe. Leave it to the children. It will always be there until they turn 18. Here's why Company A says that. Company A says that because if children lose both parents with Company A, even at a $10 a month policy, each child, if they lose both parents before they're 18, if they lose both parents before they're 18, each child 
will receive $900 a month in child support until they are 18 years old. That's $2,700 a month, and it does not come out of the death benefit. Now, I'm hoping that you're, you're realizing how powerful what I'm saying is, and I'm not even done yet. I have, I have a total of eight kids. My mom and dad had 13 kids. There is not a maximum number that this company will put on it. So if my mom and dad would have died and left all 13 of us under the age of 18 orphaned, each one of us would have received $900 a month until we were 18 years old, given to our new legal guardian to help raise us. Who talk to me about that. Very, very powerful product that has child support benefits built into it, and it does not come out of the death benefit. And as, as long as both parents die before the children are 18, they're going to pay the $900 a month of child support to the children that are under the age of 18. By the way, by the way, let's, let's ask something. Let's say you leave the money to your brother and his wife, just like over there, and they have one child, and let's say they do end up getting divorced. They do end up getting divorced. How much money of this can one of them take in the divorce? Zero, because it's child support money. They can't touch it because it's child support money. What if they end up having that accident and they cause somebody to become paralyzed for the rest of their life and they want to sue them and they want to find out how much money they're worth? Can the lawyers touch this? No, it's child support money coming from company A to the children. They can't touch it. It's pretty fantastic. So in this scenario, because the children are below the age of 25, watch what else company A does. Remember, they lost both parents on a date night because of a drunk driver or a texting teenager. Heck, it could have been, it could have even been a texting insurance agent. I don't know. But anyhow, check this out. That's they'll give them $24,000 each. They'll give each child under the age of 25, $24,000 each to go to college because they lost both their parents. It does not come out of the death benefit. It does not come out of the death benefit. This is pretty, pretty powerful. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed right now about how much money company A is willing to invest into the family that gets insurance into their children. By the way, these are, these are just two of the many free benefits that this company offers. You know this company also will give them, for them signing up for a policy, they'll give them free legal services. They'll give them free legal services and discounted legal services. Remember how I told them over here in the scenario as a father of eight and a grandfather of ten that I would recommend they get a will put in place? And I know that wills run around $400 to $500. But I know that they need a will because of the two biggest things people fight over when somebody dies is money and children. What I told them is they need a will. Well, guess what this company over here does? It gives them a will for free through legal services they provide. A will that's notarized and legalized at an attorney's office. It's not something that they mail you like a little mail kit. It's an actual official will free of charge just because they signed up for a $10 a month program. Boom, yeah. By the way, just to let you know, this company will also give you um, tickets to movies and concerts and theaters and more. They'll give you free credit counseling. This company is an amazing company that offers you so much for free just for signing up for a policy. Last year I went to Disney World, Universal Studios, Lion Country Safari, Ringling Brothers and Barnabilly Circus, a NASCAR race, a magic game, an NFL. What? It's crazy talking what they'll do for you free of charge. They'll give you unlimited letters on your behalf for legal matters, unlimited phone calls on your behalf for legal matters, give you other things at a discount from the legal area. Pretty cool. By the way, check this out. They'll give your kids an opportunity to win a scholarship. They give away 250 scholarships every single year to only the children and the grandchildren of the insured. Or the insured can apply as well, no matter what age. But it's for your first four-year degree. They give away 250 $8,000 scholarships. That's pretty cool. By the way, let's say the accident happened and the husband becomes paralyzed for life. The wife dies immediately. And we already said over here they don't give nothing to the family. Nothing to the family. Over here, because the family lost the mom, even though she wasn't insured, 
They're going to give each child $6,000 each to go to college. Woo! This is a pretty amazing thing. So why would you not show this product to the family for as low as $10 a month? By the way, if the, if the, mother, if the mother lives and the husband dies, and then two years later she dies, the child support is not paid and the, and the college money is not paid up to 24 grand unless she has a policy on her as well. You have to both have a policy on you because the benefits end once the policyholder dies. So this turns into two sales on the husband and the wife for as low as $10 a month, which is their accidental death program. Folks, I'm letting you know this is the way I would go. So who would you rather buy? Would you rather buy company B or would you rather buy company A? Who would you rather sell? Would you rather sell company B or would you rather sell company A? Well, a lot of people say to me, A, and they sound like a bunch of Canadians when they say it, A. Well, guess what? The company over here is called Foresters, and they are a Canadian company with a lot of other powerful features and benefits. Do you know they're the only company we have that will give a claim at time of war? They'll pay a death claim at time of war. They're the only company we have that will give you non-tobacco rates on their term product if you smoke cigars, pipes, and chew 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is a great company. Learn about them today.